Hey guys, this is Ishmael Amte. So if you're an MTN user, I have a good news for you. Sometime last year, MTN released an app which is called My MTN App, which is basically supposed to help MTN users manage their services in terms of being able to purchase at time, purchasing data, as well as being able to, you know, make mobile money transactions. Now, as of then, I decided not to make a video because the app was in its early stage and it had a couple of bugs. But as of now, the app is very stable and it has a lot of cool features that I want to share with you. So without talking further, let's just go ahead and then take a look at the app. So I'm going to go ahead to launch it on my phone. I already have it installed. You can download it from Play Store or App Store. Now, once you have the app open, the first thing you have to do is to basically create an account in case you don't already have an account, which I believe you don't. So once you create the account, you are taken to the dashboard, which shows you some details. So you have um, greetings, yellow, Lamte, you have my MTN app, goes flexy. And then you have airtime, you have your airtime, you have your data, you have voice. So the voice is um, the last call you've actually made. I spoke for about 37 minutes. And then also you have mobile services. That's basically what you see on the dashboard. Now, when you look at the very bottom, you have a couple of icons. You have buy home, buy send, just for you and Momo. Now you're going to take a look at these one after the other. So let me just go to the menu at the top right hand corner. And then you have home profile subscription, rate app, help and logout. So that's all you get. So this is version um, 3.15. Now let's come back to home and take a look at what we can do in here. So with regard to the airtime, once you tap on the airtime, you are actually able to see your airtime usage. So this actually gives you a breakdown of the last, um, the course you've actually made for the past seven days. That is what it basically give you. And then it shows you the numbers you've called. I find this very useful in the sense that you see the date, you see the number you've called, you see the duration you spoke for. So in case um, there was something you're trying to trace, you can actually get to see that. Now this is only going to give you for seven days. So what you see over here is for just seven days. So that's what you have showing here. Time period is last seven days. You don't get to specify the um, duration. That's what I wish MTN is going to improve upon with their um, updates. Now you can also purchase airtime where, um, so there's actually airtime which has been bought for the past seven days. We have on the um, 13th and then on the 8th of um, February. So the amount that was purchased, so you get to see it. This is very cool in the sense that you are able to see the amount of airtime you are purchasing. And if there's a need for you to, you know, minimize it, you actually do something about it. Now you can send airtime to people from here by using the send button. You type in the phone number of that person. And then you can also purchase airtime for yourself. So let me come back here. And then this time around, I'm going to go to the um, buy. So when you go to the buy option, you get to select from the options available in terms of being able to buy airtime or data. Then you go ahead to purchase it. This is a simple process. I'm not going to walk through that. So that's with the um, airtime option. Then when you also tap on the data option, it also gives you a breakdown just like you see for the airtime the, uh, for the past seven days, how your data history has been like, what um, you've spent or you spend, end up spending per day for the seven day period. So you get to see everything here. And then also in case you want to purchase data, you get to buy it. You also see the total data you have remaining. Now, one cool thing is MTN data, MTN airtime doesn't expire. So that's a good one. So you get to see your data details as well. And then finally we have the, um, so we have, okay, before the Momo services, we have the voice, which also gives you a breakdown of the course you've made for how long you spoke for. And then, the amount of airtime you, sp um, you spent on that particular call, you get to see everything over here. And just like we saw for the airtime, you can purchase um, airtime by using the buy option at the bottom here, or you can also use the send option to purchase, uh, that is send airtime to someone else in case you want to. Now, uh, let me just tap on my MTN Flex app. So this app um, shows you their data packages. So you get to see um, the data packages and the amount that you, you can purchase um, the data packages for. So you have um, the ranges from 0.03 to 4.99 CDs to from 5.00 to 99.9 9 CDs and then on and on and on and on. So these are their data packages in case you want to purchase data. Now I find this app very cool in a sense that it makes it easier going about purchasing um, data, purchasing airtime, 
instead of using the SSD code where sometimes in case you miss a step, you have to start the whole process again. Now this is very easier for you to go about purchasing your data. Now one thing I tend to like most about this app has to do with the Momo services aspect. Now in case someone may think, okay, if I have access to his phone, then I can easily go ahead and transfer money to myself. Well, that is never going to happen because once you open the Momo services, the first thing it's asking you for is the Momo pin or your MTN mobile money pin. So you go ahead to type it in there. Of course, this is a bit sensitive, so it's going to be bled out. So once you type that in there, it is going to generate a pin code, which is going to be sent to your phone. That's a cool one you get. So um, this kind of security is going to be a bit difficult to have someone hack into your MTN mobile money. So the SMS has been sent. As you can see, it says my code is um, what is over there. Let me just go ahead and then enter that. And then once I enter that, it is going to go ahead to take me to my mobile money services. Of course, my balance is going to be blared out. And you have a couple of options available in here. Now I'm going to try my possible best to make a different video to take uh, you through the options available with the mobile money services. So this is basically just an overview about the MTN, my, um, my MTN app. So when you come to the mobile money um, aspect, you get to see your wallet. The wallet shows you your balance, um, a couple of other options available in there, just like you use the SSD code. Um, and then you also have airtime, you have um, transfer money, you have approvals, pay bill, MTN services, help, and then bank services. And then you have the MTN Momo Pay as well. So these are the um, things you see with the MTN mobile money. So just as I said, I'm going to make a different video explaining and taking us through the MTN mobile money aspect of this particular app. So I'm going to come back from here. And I think basically that's just about it. Now, if you tap on the buy at the bottom, it takes you to either buy and purchasing of data or airtime. And then even if you want to purchase data for other people, you can do that. If you want to send, it's just the same thing. You want to send airtime or data, you can do that. And then just for you, gives you some cool um, bundle options where you can actually choose from. And then you finally have the MTM Momo, which of course, even if you've just come out of that service, it's still going to ask you for your pin. And then it's going to generate a pin for you to be able to get into that particular aspect of the app. Now I find this app very cool in a sense that it makes it easier being able to track some of the things you do with your MTN um, um, SIM card or your MTN line. And it's actually very cool. Thumbs up to MTN for bringing up this particular app to make our lives a bit easier of course it's going to help out in so many ways now one disclaimer this particular video isn't sponsored by mtn i just felt uh, this is actually cool to share with you over um, out there in case you find yourself using mtn so let me know what you think about this app in case you are already using it let me know um what you find cool about this particular app kindly share it with me in the comment section below and if there's any other aspect of this particular app you'd want me to take a look at, um, kindly let me know so that I take a look at that. So that is basically it about this particular app or video. And if you are new to this channel, as usual, kindly smash on that subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Eshmolamte. Thank you very much for watching. But hey, if you happen to be watching this video on the 14th of February, then happy Vows Day to you. But if you're watching it any other day apart from 14th, happy Vows Day to you as well. Yeah, that's just about it. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.